talk about my favorite male characters from books that I've read recently. So earlier I have talked about my favorite females, I've talked about my favorite moms, and now we are going to talk about my favorite men. These are all of the books that have men that I just absolutely adore. Just some really, really well written male characters because let's be honest, along with female characters, male characters can also be really stereotypically written sometimes. They can come really flat, they can be boring, they can be just very one dimensional, but not these. These guys have the key to my heart and I love everything about them. The first book I want to talk about is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. I adore our main character, Zachary. He is just this like cinnamon roll character who goes on this adventure to figure stuff out and gets in over his head. And he just, he loves video games and stories and he just wants knowledge and I love him so much. Like he's just so good, so interesting. And I absolutely love his love interest as well. He is just a top-notch character. Like, I just, I love this book so much. But Zachary is just such a good protagonist. Like, oh, pick this up if you haven't. It's weird. It's strange. It's a story within a story. And you just kind of have to, like, let go of wanting it to make logical sense and just enjoy the ride when you read this book. But I love him. Zachary is just, he's just amazing. I also really, really like Jason from Dark Matter. He is an older male protagonist who literally wants nothing more than to get back to his wife and kid. Like he is the epitome of a family man. He just, just wants to do right by his wife and kid. And he loves his family so much that he is willing to sacrifice so much just to make them happy, just to be with them, just to get back to them. And he's, one of these characters that really resists temptation. Like there's moments in this story where he could have gone a completely different route and just forgotten all about, you know, his wife and kid and just been satisfied with where he was and just enjoy the company of another woman. And he's like, you know, no, I'm not gonna do that. My family is more important to me and that is what pushes him forward and I absolutely loved that about him. Moving on from good and wholesome, I also absolutely adore Victor Vale. He is like the opposite of your like good wholesome family guy but look, I love him. Especially in this book. I had some issues with his character in the second book, but ugh, Vicious is just such a good book. He is really morally gray and he's kind of painted to be the villain of this story, but is he really? Like, I love that this book plays with who's the villain and who's the hero and the fact that really no one in this book is a hero, but like no one's really a villain either. Like Victor Vale has his like moral compass, which is kind of skewed, but he's, he goes by it. He lives by it. He does what he needs to do and he thinks he's doing the right thing. And y'all know I absolutely love that. Like there's moments where I'm like, ooh, shouldn't have done that. But I still love him because he's doing it for a reason. Like it's, yeah, some of it is revenge. Some of it is narcissism and other parts of it is because he thinks it's for the greater good. And like that makes me love him so much, which made me kind of sad to see some things that happened with his character in book two, but they like, it kind of makes sense, but it kind of was out of his character. So Victor from this book specifically. Another one of my favorite men folk is Alabaster from the fifth season. 
He is this like mentor character to one of our younger Orogenies and he is just the best. He is a sarcastic asshole, but he's also this like sweet fatherly figure. And one thing that I really loved is there is a polyamorous relationship in this book between Alabaster, one of our girls, and another male orogeny. And it just, it just works seamlessly. And it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship. And I love seeing that portrayed because why not? Like, let's normalize stuff that's not like, normalized enough in sci-fi fantasy and fiction in general. Like, I just thought it was great. I loved that aspect of the book. Alabaster is just chef's kiss. Like, his character is fantastic. The sarcastic asshole with a heart of gold. Like, what else do you need? Let's talk about Words of Radiant Soy Brandon Sanderson. There's a couple that I could pick for this. I love Dalinar. But my absolute favorite, it's gonna be Kaladin. I love Kaladin. Sweet, sweet, sweet baby Kaladin. With his depressed self who just wants to do good in the world, who just wants to protect the people he loves, that just keeps getting knocked down and knocked down and he keeps getting back up. And I love everything about Kaladin. This book specifically really saw so much character growth with him. And I'm excited to see where he goes in the rest of the Stormlight Archives because he is just this character that you can't help but love. Like he's kind of mopey and sad, but like you would be too if you went through everything that he went through. So I don't, I just love him so much. <laughs> Another one where we could talk about pretty much the whole cast of characters is Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. But I specifically want to talk about Clay, who is my absolute favorite from this book. Like, I love all the boys in the band, but Clay is just special. Like, he is this older, rugged father that just wants to spend time with his family and leave his old life behind him, but his old life just calls him back in for one more tour. And he can't say no because his daughter literally calls him out and was like, well, you would do it for me. You need to help your friend's daughter too. So that's what really got me is that he is such a family man and such a girl dad. And I just love that about him. This book is just fun. It follows old men, basically. So we get to hear them complain about like their backs and their knees and like being past their prime, which I think is so fun because we don't get that enough. And I just, I can't keep recommending this book enough. It's just so good. A male character that I really love that I don't think gets enough love is Henry from The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I love him. He is just a cinnamon roll and I want to squeeze him and hug him and make him smile. He is just that character that you want to make happy because he's not always happy, but when he is, it's beautiful. When he is with Addie and when he is like doing things for her, he just lights up and it is such a cool thing to read about and you can just visualize him going from like this like sad depressive state to like super happy when he's able to be happy and I love how um anxiety is portrayed in this book as somebody that has anxiety I think it is shown really well with his character and I just I love everything about him and I just think he's the sweet little cinnamon roll that we just all need to protect. And finally, another character that I just think doesn't get enough love from a book that I think doesn't get enough love. And that is DeMarco from Where Dreams Descend. Y'all, he is our main love interest in this book. And he is just, again, he's a sweetie. Like he is very 
thoughtful and very kind. And while he has his secrets and his like darker past, he cares so much about other people, his family, his friends, you know, our main girl he ends up falling for. There is some really sweet scenes where he's asking for consent. And I just think that's not shown enough. Like consent to kiss her. Are you okay? Like, can I kiss you? Like, it's just adorable, right? Like he's just sweet and romantic and I just love everything about him. He is just the best. And I can't wait to see what happens in the next book because that should be coming out really soon. And I just need to know how this ends because I'm pretty sure it's just a duology. So I need to know what happens to my sweet, sweet baby DeMarco. All right, y'all, those were all the books that I absolutely love with some male protagonists that I think are just fantastic. Let me know what you think of these books, these characters, who are some of your favorite male characters from books, and let's just have a conversation down in the comments. All right, my name is Jessie. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.